Senator Shambliss, a longtime friend, and uh, just as I'm a former chairman of this committee, and he's a former chairman of this committee, and we're being watched by former Chairman Talmadge and uh, Chairman Lincoln. I talked with her at, at length about uh, this hearing yesterday, and she has to be in Arkansas in business, but uh, I, I appreciate her arranging for us to have the the hearing, and she and I will be talking about the results of it when she comes back. It's an area in which she's quite interested. Uh, you know, we talked about the Foods Production Act. There's, there's people here in the room who are part of that achievement. I would note, especially Deputy Secretary Merrigan. Uh, she worked with us in those um, when I was chairman, and we worked with ranking member. Luger, Dick Luger, to write the 1990 Farm Bill, which this was a part, and at times it felt like, uh, we felt a little bit like Sisyphus with rolling that rock, but it, but it made it. We had a strong bipartisan coalition we put together, but I, I would, uh, Deputy Secretary, I just do want to acknowledge the tremendous help you gave during that. It's, uh, I have sometimes noted that senators are merely constitutional impediments to their staffs who do most of the work and and it's uh so i appreciate that but we're now looking forward to see what not only to celebrate these 20 years where to go in the next 20 years prior to the passage of the organic farm bill the industry was growing slowly at farmers and consumers retailers facing inconsistent policies and inaccurate labeling procedures across the country. And it's hard to believe today, but at the time we had 22 different states trying to manage and four separate regulations for organic foods. It made it very difficult uh, for uh, interstate commerce. They're very difficult for consumers. And the passage of OFPA brought much needed order to the industry. It gave consumers a USDA organic label a label with real meaning. The organic law required USDA to develop a minimum national organic standard. So that's on the course where we are today. Certified organic farms in all 50 states. Nearly 5 million acres of organic crop and pasture land. An industry with sales of more than $25 billion and growing. Uh, I, I think back... Um, then when some people are asking, why am I doing this organics bill? You might have a handful of farms and it's not going to go anywhere. And I told them I'd listen very carefully to Vermont farmers who came to me and said, we're willing to meet higher standards and we'll do what's right, but give us a national standard so we're competing on a level playing field. As long as we follow the rules in our state, we want to know everybody's following the rules in their state. And I said at that time that the only way that this uh, industry can grow if the standards are met and they're followed and they're enforced. Strong standards do reward farmers who play by the rules. They help consumers understand what that label means when they buy some of this USDA organic. I mean, the proof is in the pudding with a $25 billion industry that is growing. How many industries in America today can say they're growing the way this one is growing? But consumer confidence is key. The organics industry's growth <coughs> will be the key in the future. And so we've come from those early days where everyone thought it was just a crunchy granola program. You walk in the, um, you've heard that expression. Uh, you walk in the, Stores and organic foods occupy prominent shelf space in the produce and dairy aisles of most mainstream food retailers, even big box stores. We see the offerings of organic meats like the delicious white oak pastures, grass-fed beef and eggs and breads and grains such as Annie's cheddar bunnies. And we, I see we have the cheddar bunnies here. Uh, beverages, even peanuts, increasing with every year. 
And I should add, I was pleased to host Secretary Vilsack this past February at the Northeast Organic Farming Association of Vermont winter meeting in Burlington, Vermont. Now, it's the middle of the winter, Burlington, Vermont. We're a very small state. He was welcomed by more than 1,200 people who packed in to see him. No surprise, though, since Vermont leads a country in a number of organic farms on a per capita basis. But I also recall Secretary Vilsack received an interesting organic product, a six-pack of organic certified and Vermont brewed pumpkin ale. I didn't ask him how he got that on the uh, airplane afterwards, Saxby, but nor did they consume it before I got on the airplane. But, but today we have more farms and companies than ever participating in the organic sector, we, but we continue to experience occasional shortages of organic products when our farms are unable to simply keep up with the consumer demand. I was concerned in the past the Department of Agriculture kept, not kept up with the pace of organic agriculture. I'm pleased today to see an agency that recognizes it has to support a diverse menu of options for all of American agriculture, including organic agriculture. That strong support means strong standards. And I'll look forward to hearing from our witnesses today about the ongoing implementation of national organic standards. I'm interested in the recent expansion of the National Organics Program, USDA. Because we can look back at the success of 20 years, I want to look forward to the potential success of the next 20 years. And I look forward to hearing from all of you about the potential challenges you see waiting this young and growing industry. And I see the distinguished senator from Michigan here, Senator Stabenow, and we certainly have it uh, organic farming in, in her state. But again, I want to thank, uh, I want to thank Senator Chambliss for being here, but I especially want to thank uh, uh, Chairman Lincoln for letting us have this hearing. I, uh, it may be a small percentage in some of our members in the total farmland of the state, but it is growing. It is growing. And when we have all this bad news in the economy, it's kind of nice to have news about something that's working and growing, putting people to work. And I know when I walk in farmers markets or stores and all, I see people heading to the organic food. Senator Chambliss.